In stations, daily login rewards announced by CCP. Make sure you get those. There are seven days of rewards, so you have to log in seven individual days, and you have 10 days in order to do that. So you have a, th a grace period of three days. Uh, you'll get over 200 and about 30,000 SP if you manage to get all seven days. So don't forget to log in all your accounts at least once uh, every day for the next seven days. And you have 10 days to accomplish that. Okay, let's talk about the encounter surveillance system that was announced by CCP today. This is an update to an older system uh, that was optional for players in order to rack up more winnings when they were null sec ratting. But this time it's a little bit different. The Encounter Surveillance System, ESS, is a mechanic that tries to create conflict among players. It does this by taking some of your rewards while you're ratting and puts it in a vulnerable spot behind an acceleration gate that anyone can visit and take. And so you need to defend it. So those changes that are made to this system uh, are these. This is no longer optional. Every NullSec system will have an ESS permanently in system. This is going to be located behind a public acceleration gate that only certain kinds of ships can get through. And finally, the third change, contributors automatically get paid out every three hours, a contributor being somebody who is ratting in system, uh, every three hours. Uh, meanwhile, that for those three hours, that money, that ISK that is uh, taken from you when you're ratting is there for other people to take and for you to defend. So, yeah. One second. All right. So that is the... Uh, and one other thing, there are two banks here. There's a main bank, which is going to carry the majority of the ISK. And then there's also a reserve bank for longer term. It takes a smaller portion, but... Uh, that is going to add up over a longer period of time. So we'll find out more about all this stuff in just a minute as we talk to Fon Sui and later um, uh, Hateless, who might join us. Okay, so the other piece of news, uh, one other thing, CCP will have a live stream next week about ESS, so we can get more information from them directly. You can ask them their questions, and uh, they will be listening for... Um, what the player reaction is. So plenty of time to think about it and not a lot of details given, but uh, next week there'll be more details and more questions. In other news, a new Pulse video is out by CCP. We will take a look at it right after the news uh, roundup. And uh, lastly, Proving Grounds has been changed. The gameplay has been adjusted to make it more fair. Uh, you can no longer attack competitors, creating a combat timer that would keep them out of entering the match before the match. So you can't trick somebody into locking themselves out of a match so that you could fight uh, who you want to fight. Uh, and you also can't spam alts to fight against yourself. These are a couple of the tactics that were made popular by uh, players that were winning the top spots in the combat proving grounds. Um, because they were manipulating the system in order to uh, create better odds for themselves to win fights. So that's being adjusted, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that as well. Okay, so we'll have those stories and more today. Uh, I want to say hi to Maddox. How are you doing, buddy? Hey, doing fine. And today we're joined by uh, Fonsway. How are you doing? We're also going to be uh, joined by Hateless. Uh, we'll just tell him right here, jump in Discord. If you are not a member of Discord, by the way, you can join Discord here. Um, oh, I just uh, drag him up. So he's here. Terrific. Hello, hey, Hateless, how are you? Hateless and Fonsui are here with us. So let's talk about this encounter surveillance system. Hello, how are you guys doing today? Oh, we're good. Yeah, we got I'm just reading these ESS notes. So. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you three minutes. What we're going to do next is go to the EVE Online video that came out, uh, the Halloween of Horrors. It's here on CCP site. We'll play that, and we'll be right back with a discussion on the encounter. I can't hear you guys. Okay, hold oh. on one second. Welcome to the Pulse Capsuleers, your source of news in EVE Online. Eve's Halloween horrors are upon us, and New Eden is once again haunted by a series of awesome events and offers. 
There are new Crimson Harvest event sites all across space, daily login rewards, balance changes to interdictors and combat interceptors, a new Proving Grounds event, and more. The returning Crimson Harvest event brings with it brand new combat sites across HiSec, LowSec, NullSec, and Wormhole Space until the 10th of November. Choose to either fight the Blood Raiders or the Shining Flame Mercenaries and venture to the Bleak Lands, Devoid, and Delve for a greater challenge and the greatest rewards. Rewards include ISK, new and returning ship skins, fireworks, Crimson Harvest apparel, blueprints for a new Blood Raider modified mobile tractor unit, powerful faction modules and implants, and limited time cerebral accelerators. As part of the returning Crimson Harvest event, you can log into EVE Online daily and receive free gifts until the 9th of November. The free gifts include skill points, Deathglow Remnant skins, t-shirts and firework crates for Alpha Pilots, and a further 175,000 skill points, more Deathglow Remnant skins, agency boosters, and a Cerebral Accelerator for Omegas. A new Abyssal Proving Grounds event is now live, also as part of the Crimson Harvest. You can get stuck into a four-player Tech 1 Frigate free-for-all until downtime on the 3rd of November. In addition, combatants can enjoy double stasis Webifier range and a uniquely spooky Abyssal environment for this Proving Grounds event. Trick or Treat is also returning for Eve's Halloween horrors this year, but with a slight twist. This Halloween, you can get 90% module and cargo drops from any destroyed player-owned ship, as well as 90% of non-asset safety drops from structures until downtime on the 10th of November. Keep an eye on CCP TV over the weekend for a number of Halloween-related streams, and hit follow to make sure you don't miss any of our Twitch content. There are frighteningly good savings to be had on all Omega packs right now, but only until the 3rd of November. Get 15% off all Omega Packs and gain unlimited access to EVE's best ships and skills, as well as doubling your skill training speed this Halloween weekend and beyond. The chillingly beautiful Malagrin Marshlight skin has returned to EVE Online's New Eden store and is now available on even more ship hulls than before, but only until the 9th of November. You can now purchase the Malagrin Marshlight skin for the Armageddon, Confessor, Signable, Dominix, Ferox, Macariel, and many more ships, as well as the hulls it was available on last Halloween. You can also get 20% off the Inner Zone Vanguard skin for the Nemesis, allowing you to bolster your fleet with a wing of spooky jack-o'-lanterns. This week saw updates made to how standings with the Triglavians are affected, as well as access to the Porchven region. Standings that were gained with Triglavians, Edencom and Rogue Drones from Rogue Drone sites during what has since been declared an exploit have been reverted. It is also now easier to gain standings with the Triglavians and Edencom. In addition, Wormholes will now offer more consistent access to Traglavian space, and filaments leading to the region are now easier to find. For the first time ever, music from EVE Online, as performed by the Iceland Symphony Orchestra, is now available on Spotify. The music was originally composed by Jon Hattler Haraldsson, also known as Real X, and performed at the Harpa Concert Hall and Conference Center by the Iceland Symphony Orchestra for EVE FanFest 2013. This music was previously included with the EVE Online Collector's Edition release and is now available for you on Spotify. Thanks for joining us for another episode of The Pulse. Check the description below or the comments on Facebook for links to more information on all the stories we've covered. Hit subscribe to stay notified of any new videos that we post. Now, word from our sponsors. All right, that's the video from that's the video from uh, Eve Online. There, I thought there was something funny here. I'll mute this up and we'll go back just a second to the concert hall. I don't know if you noticed this, but when they're talking about the concert hall, it looks like a guy's being escorted off the stage there on the left. You see him there? <laughs> <laughs> it's like is that a drunk patron going up and wanting to join the orchestra or something? That is kind of funny. It. it it very well could be. Yeah, I, I think he's probably the composer. I don't know. Who knows? But that's kind of, <laughs> I was like, oh, what's going on there? <laughs> all right. So thanks for watching that. That's the uh, Pulse put out by CCP and gives you an update on all the features from the game. Uh, we do that to give you information on features in the game, which is what we're going to do today. But we also tell you player news. Uh, but uh, CCP does a great job putting all the features in the game in a video and uh, announcing what's going to happen. So. There you go. Let's uh, we're going to do this backwards real quick. Proving grounds. Just want to read these to be uh, especially clear. There's a couple of rule changes, and these are basically here to. Yeah, I, I looked at that post earlier today. What do you think? Uh, so 
it's it, it's important to note that none of the none of the issues that they state well i say they but this is this is convict so convict posted mm-hmm. this on the forums i'm actually going to put the link to the forum post in twitch chat right now so here it is. i was about to ask for that font so yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go so that's that's the post convict posted it I'll, I'll, I can actually burn through it real quick. So, yeah. Hi, everyone. It was very excited for us. It, it was very exciting for us to discover how players would engage with the new Proving Grounds feature introduced in the Zenith Quadrant. Thanks to your enthusiastic participation, we learned a lot in terms of what formats are most appealing, at what cadence we should hold events, and the duration they should run for. This information is being incorporated into the Proving Grounds events for the Phoenix Quadrant. We have also heard your feedback about some metagame issues surrounding the Proving Grounds. Unlike tightly controlled tournament matches held in an isolated and supervised environment, the Proving Grounds take place in the greater sandbox of New Eden, where, just as everything else, players are typically free to use their ingenuity or deviousness to gain the upper hand over their rivals, albeit within certain boundaries of conduct. With this in mind, we have decided to bring the Proving Grounds further within those boundaries, somewhat in... Sorry, with this in mind, we have decided to bring the Proving Grounds further within those boundaries somewhat in order to address the metagame issues which have been raised and could detract from players' enjoyment of the feature or create a sense of futility. Effective immediately, the following policies will be will apply to the Proving Grounds. Number one, players may not attack competitors in space with the intent of using the Capsular Logoff Timer to prevent them from entering the Proving Grounds. Of course, this does not apply to regular PvP, where the intent is to engage someone in combat. Queuing up for a match does not make you immune from having spaceship violence visited upon you. Number two, players may not spam alt accounts into the Proving Grounds in an attempt to match up against themselves or their friends and obtain easy wins. Our player experience team will investigate reports of violations of these rules and have the means to identify the real owners of the accounts used for this purpose. If you are being harassed while trying to access the Proving Grounds, example, aggressed by a disposable rookie ship to give you a timer, or match against suspicious opponents you think have been queuing only to provide fodder for another player, example, unfit ships, ships immediately flying out of the arena, please report them by submitting a ticket under the category of Gameplay Support, Rules and Policies, EULA Terms and Service. While we respect the sandbox nature of EVE Online, we have heard that certain unconstructive behaviors perpetrated by a small number of people are impacting the fun and progress of other players using this feature. We hope you enjoyed partaking in the Proving Grounds last quarter, and we are looking forward to seeing which of the upcoming events will get your blood pumping the most. Good luck seeking glorification on the leaderboards in Phoenix. What do you make of that? Uh, so these issues are not uh, things that CCP suddenly became aware of now. Uh, yeah. They knew before this was released that this was possible. They watched it happen, and they were aware, and they said, we're... We're considering how to respond. We don't want to just, you know, blanket, you know, say no to this. So they took their time. They let the initial course of events, uh, that initial competition, they didn't want to change these rules midway through, clearly. So they waited until that competition ended. The leader, the final overall leaderboard was settled. And then they added these new restrictions that are going to hopefully create a more balanced and uh, rewarding experience in this new competition. Right. So let's just say it. This is the anti-Cable rule. Cable is one of the players that uh, has won right. many of the tournaments, and some of the ways that he's done that is fought himself. Well, I would actually else. call this the Cable rule, not yeah. the anti-Cable rule, because Cable from the start has said, this is stupid. This is why it's stupid. Okay. I'm going to show you how stupid it is. And he did. And they changed it based on what he did. So <laughs> let's let's just call it the Cable rule. <laughs> okay, so the cable rule. It's basically to to keep people from gaming the system for their advantage. Now you have to get in there and compete, or you're at least a little closer to that scenario. Uh, as opposed to metagaming the actual mechanic uh, by tripping somebody. It's essentially kneecapping somebody before a ice skating <laughs> ring, right? Like... Uh, you go out there and you, you cause a timer and then they're locked out of participating right at the time when they're picking new volunteers to jump into the arena. And Sorry. Uh, yeah. It reminds me of the, uh, I outran a bear. My friend didn't make it and all I had to do was shoot him in the knee. <laughs> that's, that's the one that yeah. reminds me of. So yeah, C- Cable really focused more. So that, by the way, I know that we just mentioned Cable and then we mentioned this, but he's he. I don't think he was engaging in that. Yeah, he, I don't think he, I don't uh, was doing. He was doing the second thing. He was loading up 
as many accounts as possible to flood the uh, the matches with his own tunes so that he could control them. So the players may not spam alt accounts into the proving grounds in order to attempt a matchup against themselves or friends to obtain easy wins. Right. Yeah, and, and CCP handed him the, the, the win. They handed him the number one spot. They said, these were the rules. We didn't say that you couldn't do that. You, you know, you followed all the rules. Here's your win. And now for the new competition, they're changing that. So that doesn't work anymore. Uh, it's just like they, they added in the meta restrictions about halfway through. They're like, hold on, people are spending how much ISK on their ships to go in? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, I think they, this, they start, uh, meta restrictions are a thing. And I, 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 I think it's good to add fairness to this, and it's that's awesome. That was actually a consideration of theirs out the gate. They just released it without that uh, and and patched it in, in the middle when they were able to complete it. Yeah. I did, yeah. Yeah, this, I, just, I mentioned that because it's not like, again... It's not like the devs didn't know that people were, could or were going to do this. They, you know, they're aware. Like all the people, are like, oh, this is broken. It could be game this way. It could be game that way. Don't you devs get it? Like, yeah, they they got it. <laughs> they, they knew from the start. They're just they're deciding how to address it appropriately. All right, we'll take a look at uh, delve and see if there is a fight going on that we can talk about. Um, we'll look into that while we talk here about the new uh, stuff. So we're done with proving grounds gameplay policy update right right very good analysis yeah, I, I think we covered it it's it basically just makes it you know more accessible more fun and less cheesy yeah. uh and and hopefully people will enjoy it okay good there is a leaderboard associated with the uh i call it the gladiator ring but it's the proving grounds and uh that makes it a little more discouraging if people are getting the top spots that are gaming the system rather than actually fighting it out. Although the guys at the top are also obviously capable, capable of winning anyway, but uh, it's a little, it's a little discouraging for people who want to compete if uh, the system's gamed by this meta gameplay going on. Okay. So moving on to encounter surveillance system, I wanted to get your guys' ideas on this or what do you guys think? This is a big deal. Uh, it's so awesome. I am reserving all judgment because we know no numbers. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, so but let's let, let's actually let's actually talk about the way CCP is developing right now. Sorry, Manix, I, I cut you off, but CCP is basically developing new mechanics that actually give them dials to turn so they can tune it the way they need to in order to get it into the right balance. This gives the balance team uh, future possibility. Uh, stuff rather than putting stuff in with, um, I guess, locked off or static uh, ratios. Yeah, essentially, they're yeah. trying to avoid binary mechanics. And what yeah. they're trying to do is use configurable mechanics, tunable mechanics, numbers that they can tweak on the fly. In fact, uh, I'll, I'll skip like a, just a teensy bit ahead and read one little phrase from the ESS official dev blog. And it says, these keys will be available via gameplay content at a later date and its availability as well as timing of its release will depend on how the players will interact with the ESS after going live. Okay, so that's the, the, in context there's Yeah, we'll, we'll get to happen. yeah, we'll get to explain like how yeah, that Yeah, yeah but you uh, you're saying that out of context. It's, it's like this Yeah, yeah no, I just I, I was there. I was just making one single you, point which is Do you want to read this one since it's so short? Uh yeah, or not. I can bring this down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's thieving capsulators. Yeah. <laughs> they open thieving capsulators. <laughs> Concord has been working on a major upgrade to the encounter surveillance system, and the new version is finally ready to roll out. The new ESS will come online alongside the dynamic bounty system, and together they will reshape ratting and Nullsec as you know it. The original ESS was meant to offer Nullsec residents the chance to juice up their systems with better bounty payments at the risk of having their earnings stolen by roaming player pirates. This concept was strong, but clever players highlighted several cases, including risk-reward related and deployment location issues that exhibited much opportunity for improvement. With lots of learning now in hand, the aim is to revisit the concept with more focus on creating a flashpoint for conflict across NullSec. Key takeaway is the ESS is no longer optional and will be present by default in all NullSec solar systems. The location of the ESS is public and sits behind an acceleration gate with specific ship class access. Payouts from the ESS happen automatically to contributing PVE bounty earners and no longer need to be retrieved in person. Breaking the bank. 
Like the current ESS, a percentage of bounties generated in the solar system will be delivered to the ESS rather than the player's wallet. Unlike the current ESS, the take will now be split between two banks instead of one. The main bank, this is where the majority of the money goes. It pays out automatically every three hours to contributors, but can be stolen from at any time by invaders. This is similar to the mechanic we're used to. The new bank is the reserve bank. This is the real jackpot. A smaller portion of each bounty is placed in the reserve bank, where it sits until claimed by someone on grid who has a consumable key required to unlock it. When stealing from the reserve bank, you will be paid over time at a rate that spools up to a maximum and then winds back down. You will get to decide how long the cycle takes to complete and in turn how much you stand to gain. These keys will be available via gameplay content at a later date and its availability as well as the timing of its release will depend on how the players will interact with the ESS after going live. More information to follow later. For those wanting nitty gritty details, you will have to wait until the feature is live and log in to discover them. Earn your keep. The new ESS will have a unique set of on-grid rules to encourage good fights and avoid troll-like tactics. The ESS rule set, which affects a 75 kilometer radius around the structure, which means 150 kilometer bubble, uh, warping is disabled. Micro jump drives are disabled. Micro warp drives are disabled. Cloaking is disabled. Sinusural fields are disabled. And filaments are disabled. Together, these conditions will demand commitment from anyone hoping to get their hands on someone else's hard-earned ISK. Of course, the meta that develops around the ESS will be monitored, and adjustments will be made as needed. All in all, there is much excitement to see how this new version of the ESS pans out. More action for residents and roamers alike will emerge as players plan heists and protect their space. Fly it like you stole it. <laughs> Love that ending. Um... Okay, so let's have your thoughts on it, you guys. What do you think? So, Hateless, you were talking about you were going to describe that little bit that I that I mentioned. Yeah, Maybe so you want it, it, it about that was in there. So that that jackpot is going to be fantastic, and I do want to give a shout out to Bjorn B. Uh, he kind of saw the initial update, and was like, "Hey, there's an ESS thing coming." Uh, he's actually making a corporation that is all about stealing these, which is going to be awesome, um, and he's going to promote that. Uh, I think that this is a really good place for people to find content in nullsec and losec. Well, it, it says nullsec only, so in nullsec. Uh, the restrictions to go or to operate inside that grid uh, are really cool. It forces like a brawling style engagement because there's no micro warp drives. It's going to be really difficult to kite. Um, but that that jackpot could be massive for some people uh when they go in there and actually consume that consumable to go get the jackpot that's really exciting like five thoughts bundled in the one there but yeah. <laughs> uh, as i said earlier i'm reserving most of my judgment because we don't know uh, i think the only number they list i think there's one number listed in this entire thing and it's three hours yeah, yeah. say that that's it pays it. out automatically that is literally the only number that we have uh, no, yeah. it's also 70. There's also, they told us how big the radius will be. And uh, they said the other number we got is all, all the null sex solar systems. Every other detail is still hidden from us. So I'm reserving basically all my judgments. So have you used an ESS before? Uh, do you understand how they, they function and work? Mm -hmm. right let's, now? let's review that okay. though for people who have it. Yeah, why don't you tell them about it? Okay, so what an ESS is, is it's a structure that you deploy in space and it takes a percentage of your income and puts it into a bank. And as you generate more bank, you get a higher percentage of reward back. Uh, and once you hit a certain threshold, you get like, a, you get a lot of loyalty points back. And basically it gives you loyalty points while you're at, but there's a cost. Somebody can come by and steal all of your loyalty points and all of your uh, is that's in the bank. So you don't make nothing if somebody steals it, but you 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 don't make as much as you would have had you not had one. I think it used to take like fifteen uh, percent, right? Or I think it's it, it starts at ten percent and it gradually grows. I given I haven't used one of these since like two thousand and thirteen. Yeah, but that's... you you get a certain percent and then it grows to a max percent and then you maintain that max percent to get the max income, and it it also multiplies with the LP, but if somebody comes in the system and steals that, it's it's theirs. They took it. So it forces you to respond and, and react when someone comes in local, like, hey, did somebody go take this? 
or somebody does take it or starts to take it, a, 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 a message is broadcast to local. Somebody is attempting to steal the ESS. Okay. They have to hold that for a minute. Or I, I can't remember. The exact so they're time, stuck there it, waiting for the alert to go out. Uh, they have to wait a certain time before they can actually steal it. In the meantime, the person who's earning that money ratting is alerted that somebody's trying to steal your honeypot, basically. Yeah. I don't know if that's uh, right. So it's, it's currently, it's, it's, yeah, currently oh, like somebody would sit there next to it and uh, if someone came in the system, try to loot it, they'd just loot it and uh, yeah. release the payout. Uh, that That was the standard tactic for keeping your ESS safe and your, your payout safe. But that's going to change now. Um, Wait, before you go to the change, let hate, let's finish how people use it. Um, but uh, I, I, I described it pretty much. Did? Okay. Pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. Was, uh, he kind of went over well, it's a couple there. things though. Can the, can the structures, and I know this is going to be old news pretty quickly. Could, could they have been destroyed or tampered with in any way? And how long did they last? I, think they were destroyable i can't remember but they were super cheap like they cost almost nothing right uh, compared to what you earn while ratting i think they're only like four or five million s you just whether or not you want to run one or not very really the question very few people ran these currently yeah it, it's super rare right now uh yeah. because people don't like dealing with that risk at all and, and that's the it's thing a, it's a hassle for some additional pay but what people would rather do is like Instead of getting more pay by adding hassle, they'll just like add another ship in multi box. Yeah, um, but it, it also forces. So, so what I like about this is there's 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 faucets and sinks. There's a big part about the economic part of Eve Online. But every time that they add LP to the game or add another way to get LP, uh, whenever somebody spends that LP, it also consumes ISK. And it removes this out of the game. So it makes ratting a more maintainable activity in the long term of the health of the game. So uh, pure ratting right now, when you rat, you just, it comes out of nowhere. It's it's work you do for, it's effectively out of nowhere. And then there's no well, resource. It's drinking, or, it's drinking from the faucet directly. There are very few sources of raw isk in the game. And this is one. Yes. Yes. But this this will continue to make it like it did, but it will also make people use that faction LP in order to make goods, and uh, making those goods will remove that is from the game as well. And players will have the option to do that; they they're not forced to use their loyalty points. But you, so. you also you also have to think this is coming on top of the dynamic uh, bounty system as well. So uh, chat chat says CCP says on the forum that the LP payout is being removed. Yes, that's true. Right, yeah. So there's not going to be an LP payout. It's, it's going to be just uh, straight ISK. Uh, thanks, uh, Nat for Fish, for, for that. So they're not doing loyalty points with this no, at all? Just, just, just ISK now. Just ISK. Okay, so that, that, that changes everything I just said in the last, like, two and a half minutes. <laughs> but, <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, it's fine. It happens. Uh, it's well, that wasn't in the here. notes, yeah. So, yeah. So we're we're good there. Um, so, I, I mean, I said I'm reserving judgment, but, like, I still have a general sense. So with any change like this, unless something like completely breaks the entire game, if it's not completely broken and buggy and non-working, then players absolutely have the ability to find, you know, its place in the metagame. So it may be harder than before, maybe easier than before, maybe a little bit less than before, a little bit more, whatever it is, it's still workable. And we're still waking up to the same EVE Online client as everybody else. And it's me versus you versus you versus you versus you and whoever's the best wins. So the balance of it isn't really much of a concern. M more just the is it broken or not broken is my concern. I I do yeah. feel like this is a great opportunity for players to take a yeet filament out and uh, go try and steal some loot. You know, I mean, you said something that I just keyed into uh, when you were saying it, and that is that uh, uh, Bjorn B, who's um, a streamer, very good streamer uh, from yeah. Iceland, is going to take a group out just to steal. And it dawned on yeah. me, this is something that pirates in low sec or even high sec can go into null sec and steal from it. Yeah. Did you see did you see what Han Fix our cabin said in chat? <laughs> he says now we can go to systems where there are and rob the bots. <laughs> and yeah, we can rob the bots money. That's uh 
I think that's going to be everybody's first target or a lot of people's first target is going to be like bots have always been a soft target, you know, like their bots are basically like bad players. So yes, sometimes they warp off, but sometimes you find a bad bot. People found all sorts of ways to abuse bots. Like, um, I think Bjorn also another, another Bjorn is our hero story. He was going around and he figured out that many bots are programmed to automatically accept fleet invites. So he was just (laughs) fleet inviting bots and warp and fleet warping them to the sun and killing them. Oh man. <laughs> but uh yeah, that's gonna be a, a definite first target. Even if they warp off now, at least you can go steal their ESS. Uh, well, yep. and then go to the next system. So you're gonna get a payout for hunting bots either way. Uh so that's gonna be interesting to see how they develop, see if there's any uh change to that they could do possibly. I don't see it. Because it, it doesn't look like you're gonna be able to loot this to get the payout back. You're gonna have to wait that three hours, so you're gonna have to defend it. Uh, for three you, hours until your payout comes around yeah right or have somebody defend it um you know you could possibly see people bubbling uh the and gate camping the uh you know systems that's go into the uh, pockets but with the dynamic bounty system that's going to make that less uh doable just because you're going to have to start spreading out uh so you're probably not be able to just stay in a pocket and get payouts um, it's gonna be very interesting there's a lot of Right. We should, we, should mention, router. we should mention that this goes uh, hand in hand with this other change here that we're showing on screen. The, the Concord. Yeah, the dynamic bounty system goes hand in hand with ESS. And they even mentioned it in the dynamic bounty system dev blog of last week that there would be so, ESS coming. In that other note, there's a mention of uh, places where ships blow up more. So if ESS are stolen a lot and there's a lot of the ESS being taken and fights around the ESSs, it could raise the routing index, which might make it more lucrative to go into systems that see more uh, excitement in the ESS to right, draw right. more players and cause a, a hot spot for activity, regardless if it be routing or PvP. Yeah, but if you if you got a system that's heavily defended, say uh, like a uh, an Imperium space would be without a war happening in Delve right now. Um, those hunters would probably shy away from those systems that are heavily defended. Uh, they'd probably go be, you know, wanting to go to more softer targets like bots or people that's not really defending their space or off times. Well, here's, a yeah. comment in, here's a comment in chat that I wanted to address. Uh, the bot code will be updated. And that's true. Like, the bots are going to be updated to deal with, you know, whatever changes CCP makes of the game. But the the goal behind changes isn't to be like, and now bots are screwed and they're all offline and the game is perfect. That's not, it's kind of a cat and mouse thing. And uh, they're trying to build mechanics that are less easily programmed for, essentially. Well, so yeah, so they'll, they'll be updated and they'll get better at it than they are now. But I still think that overall this system is more uh more tuned to players being able to manipulate it rather than bots being able to manipulate the the bot and this current system will have to be programmed to pvp another player to stop i mean so that's have you seen a diablo 2 bot operate like it is insane what bots can do with very little programming well so eve bots capabilities are pretty pretty well known like we know they have generally slow reaction times to things except for very yeah, the programmers talk. so they have they have um they have a very fast reaction to someone showing up they warp out but in terms of like actually doing stuff and responding to a dynamic situation uh they they move very slowly and that doesn't matter because it's a bot and it doesn't care how long it takes to do things yeah um i i, I don't think that bots in eve online are written by smart people I'm just oh, I, ne- never, never assume that your mm-hmm. enemy is foolish. That is the first mistake. <laughs> that, 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 that's true. Just from what I've seen, they, yeah. they, 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 they don't program the bots to operate quickly. They program them to take their sweet time, and that's a that's their mistake. But um, they will adapt, and there's there's a lot of room for improvement in them uh, because it 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 is an arms race constantly between bots and CCP to deal with uh, problems that CCP make or uh, solutions that, that bots come up. It's, it's a constant arms race, arms race. Yeah. and uh, no side instantly be victorious in it. Yeah. All right. But, I mean, I think this It'll... is going to definitely reduce botting, uh, yep. at least uh, at, at first, or this could even cause bots to go try to find something else to do 
besides rat, depending on how active the players hunt these systems. I mean, there's there's always going to be uh, a place for bots to make money in Eve. Uh, it's never going to be a war that is quote unquote won, as long as there are players who will pay money to people who will sell ISK outside of the 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 end user license agreement. As long yeah. as that All situation right, exists, possible exists. Let's get back on topic here. With Sorry, we're, we're we're getting off topic yeah. with bots. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, forget all that. But yes, the gameplay is being adjusted to discourage botting. That's an ongoing war. We get that. Uh, this is something also that CCP has promised that is dynamic systems that they can tweak into balance. This is going to create more opportunity for the balance team to get things just right and to adjust to player behavior. When something gets out of whack, they can actually uh, fix it quicker. Uh, and this is all very interesting. These two things, again, go together. This ESS and counter surveillance system and the new dynamic bounty system, it's going to change ratting in Nullsec dramatically. And then you have all the yeah. mining changes too. So your empire building of, you know, that was built on ratting in big, big ships or in mining with big, big ships that were solo miners or even automatic miners because you had eight or nine different ones. That gameplay that has been discouraged for the last year and a half is really getting nerfed into the ground. Yeah, I, I think I we'll see a lot of, they changed. I, I was thinking we'll see a lot of people one at a time. Go please to, go ahead, Maddox, sorry. and then and then Hateless. I, I think we'll see a lot of uh, null sec riders that are uh, more risk adverse uh, personality or, or play style. They'll they'll probably just go start doing missions, runnings, or something else. They they probably will stop riding. Um, I think the highly organized uh, places probably like uh, Tess Alliance or Horde. Uh, or the Imperium, they'll get organized. They'll have defenses up. They'll have fleets up, uh, specifically hunting these type of ships uh, that can go into these uh, these uh, warp acceleration gates and steal the ESS. to be actively hunting these ships and make it no fun for people to come hunt their space. And uh, the smaller groups uh, that don't have the uh, organization to defend their space very well will be targeted, and the bots will be targeted. Hateless. I don't see this as a nerf, but then again, I come from high sex. So yeah. um, I, I, I do see this as a shift from how things work. And it's not really a nerf because everybody's kind of coming from the same place. All the ore has to be mined in the same way for everybody. They're just changing the way it works. Well, I like your point of view quite a bit because it, it really opened my eyes to a different perspective. And that is that players who engage in, let's say, a uh, small gang or even micro gang, right? Just a few guys, two or three guys uh, going around and just taking their chances and stealing stuff from from people who are doing uh, PVE stuff in NullSec. Seems like a great opportunity to fight. And the other thing you said that was really interesting is the PVP will make the dynamic ratting system more stable for people who are over ratting certain areas. So they may want this. Over ratting will draw more players because of the increased bank size, so more players will want to go play there. And then uh, the underwriting players after PvP probably will be less likely to go in those places. Yeah. So I And I think this person here, Noki, says it best. Uh, currently, nullsec ratting is safe and boring. The changes might make it more, might enable more content. And that is very interesting, right? It's, it's like CCP has created a way to interrupt your ratting to make you PvP every once in a while. Not make you, but allow the opportunity for it. And, uh, and that might create a diversity of gameplay. The problem is this, and it's, what happened to, Sorry. it's all right. What happened to chilling out on comms and being social while you played a game that was more or less AFK? Isn't that valuable? Oh, that's, uh, that's for mining. That's for mining. They're, they're, they're even, they're trying to change that. CCP is trying to remove that. Well, I wouldn't say I hate. Well, I, I think, well no, so you're, you're you're right. right. The, I have the game stuff. The I can have of worms, pointed right? out. Yeah, in in over the past year or more, I've been pointing out again and again the mechanical changes that CCP has been making the, to the game that reward masterful gameplay, masterful decisions, and either do not reward or outright punish brute force gameplay. Wait a minute. What about just chilling out with your friends and playing a half de- half AFK game? You're you're kind of fishing around a hole. It 
there's nothing to do. You just sit there and talk to your friends while you uh, have your line in the water. And isn't that the social bonding that people need, the opportunity that people need? Yeah, that's, that's mining. Groups? That's, that, well, that's why mining, that's mission for... running, that's suicide gang. Yeah. There's so many activities that fill that role. It's, that's it's not even funny. That's blop signing right like, there. <laughs> Somebody's out hunting for you. Just, blops just is on, skill on intensive. Talking. How do you get a new guy into blops? You know, like uh, we're talking about. <laughs> I mean, uh, it didn't. Uh, this is a big topic. Anyway, we'll tackle it another time. I'm going to move you all to open comms where I'm going to jump in there too and see if we can not get a, a, a different perspectives on that. Um, what happened to the idle game, right? The idle Eve game. Um, but I want to say thanks to Fonsui for jumping in. Hateless again. Great to see you. And Maddox, thanks for joining me today. Yep. Always. You, do you have anything else before we go? And do you guys have any announcements or anything that you want to get out? Um, I'll tell you, watch Hateless yeah. if you get a chance. That's Hateless. I'm just going to <laughs> make sure you watch That's, Hateless. Uh, I, I'm doing a, uh, a public fleet on Sunday. Uh, that should be fun at, I, I don't know what time it is. Daylight savings time is happening. It's throwing everything off. Yeah. Uh, but there will be public fleet on, on Sunday. That'll be yeah. fun to participate is that, in. Is that uh, Twitch versus uh, CCP or whatever? No, Twitch versus Eve, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, is happening tomorrow. Uh, it starts early, I think, 1900 Eve time. There will be six fleets, and uh, all your favorite streamers will be streaming it. Um, Absolutely. It's going to be a fun event. As it's also on Halloween, I expect a lot of streamers to be dressed up in some kind of costumes. <laughs> uh, and uh, Miss Moses has told me that it's going to be a big one this year. So it's going to definitely like, be a fun one to almost watch. Almost the entire Eve directory on Twitch tomorrow is going to be streaming the Twitch vs. Eve. Every streamer yes. is just about. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, Twitch has the... Our, EVE Online has one of the strongest Twitch communities uh, in re relation to the game that I'm aware of. And uh, it, it really started to solidify with Streamfleet doing Twitch Receive. Uh, but that's, that's tomorrow, and it's a whole fun event that there's giveaways, there's all kinds of things happening tomorrow. Do tune into your favorite streamer and, and have a ball with that tomorrow. It's, it's a big one. Oh, look at this. Great accolades from the audience. Thank you, uh, KP, for saying uh, almost as important as daily in real life news. That's awesome. That is the best compliment we've gotten in a long time. <laughs> We're going to try to retune the show to be more of a news delivery. Uh, so look for some changes coming for the daily show. But we still want to deliver every day and uh, expand it to people who can just listen on podcasts. Some changes to come. Also, if you haven't checked, we just redid our website. And it is now very good for searching. So if you go to talkinginstations.com, you'll see the latest episodes. It's very clean because we're going to add stuff to it later. Um, but if you type in the search bar, Hateless, you'll you'll get all the episodes that Hateless has been on or Fonsui. You'll get all the episodes. So it's really good if you want to search Blackout, all the episodes on Blackout come out. So it's really becoming a library of four years of EVE Online podcasting and articles. And we're gonna actually, I'm gonna make, save some announcements for later, but we're gonna get into some new content uh, that Talking In Station's doing. But I really like knowing that you guys like these consistent daily shows. It helps me to know what to bring you guys. Yeah, it's really good. I, I'm really happy with the way it works because we were so good at putting keywords into our show for a long time, it's now very searchable. So you want an episode on a thing historically, you can find it at talkinginstations.com. All right. Thank you guys. And uh, we're now going to open comms. So stick around because we're going to go to the Friday night playground. There you go. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop the stream in just a second, but I'll let it roll through. Thanks again for watching. And uh, thank you guys. Hateless, Fonsway for coming in. Give us some great information and manic fly fun everybody nice. fly like you stole it <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome all right here we go